Second, Carthage ISD will end virtual learning and send students back to the classroom. One concern, parent says her children are thriving at home and doesn't think they need to return to school. NBC 6's Jesse Kelly spoke with the superintendent about the decision. Right now, 90% of students in Carthage ISD are enrolled in face-to-face -face classes. Soon, everyone will be. The superintendent says they are making the change because 60% of students who are taking classes virtually failed coursework during the first six weeks of school. Some of the reasons that the students failed uh, to learn in that first six weeks virtually was because they did not have as much act interaction with the classroom teacher that face-to-face -face learners did. On the other hand, one mother says her children are doing great with virtual learning. So when I found out that they had to go back to school, I was like, why? My kids are actually thriving at home and safe. In Panola County, there are currently 52 active COVID-19 cases, and the school district is only reporting a 1% infection rate. We determined based on that information that it is safe to come to school, and that is the reason we made the decision to discontinue at-home learning as an option. With cold and flu season on the way, a plan is in place in case changes are needed. So I think we have a strong system of communication within our district that if we start to see an increase in COVID or an increase in flu, that we can make some quick adjustments and uh, make decisions based on the health and wellness of our children. However, Bridges says it is not safe for her kids to return to school. I have four kids in three different schools. That's a big risk for us. My husband, he's got a compromised immune system. Jesse Kelly, NBC6 News. And Carthage ISD will allow virtual learning for students who are in quarantine or experiencing COVID-19 symptoms. If your child has a medical condition which would prevent them from returning to school, you are asked to provide a doctor's note to the school nurse.